Hi guys, it's Naya. Welcome or welcome back. I'm back again with another hair video. And today's hair is from Yoli Say Hair. You guys, this wig, it needs a moment of silence because I've been obsessed for it and you guys have too. And here is the video finally. So right now I'm just unboxing it. And now we're going to start installing it. So first you want to take it out of the plastic. <laughs> Immediately, I realized how soft and shiny this wig is. Please excuse my dog. She likes to be in my business. But this wig is soft, shiny, bouncy. I mean, look at that fresh out of the bag. So this is how the wig is constructed. It has combs, elastic bands right at the back of the head. And this is how it looks on. I did realize that the lace is a bit dark. So this is me realizing it and trying to figure out if I'm bugging and I was not. It is dark against my hand. It looks darker in person, um, but that's nothing to worry about because when we install it, you won't even notice it. So I tried to put some makeup on it. Um, my makeup may have made it look darker. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. We're going to get through this. So first step, you want to get some alcohol. You want to put that on a cotton swab, but you want to just wipe down the edge of your hair, especially if you wear makeup. This will get all the oils and any debris that's on your forehead off so that when you glue the wig down, it can stay. So we're going to get this hair out the way and then we're going to start installing it. This lace I had to cut off of my head because I couldn't really tell where the hair started and ended on my head. So I had to take it off and cut it, no problem. So now I'm just putting it back on my head and we're going to start the install process. First, you want to size it to your head. Make sure you know where you want to put it. And I'm going to be using my Ghost Bond glue and I'm going to put that around the perimeter of my head. So after I apply the wig, I will be putting down an elastic band to try and melt the lace into my skin. After a minute or so, I'll be taking it off. And so with this wig, I cut the ear pieces and I did something different this time. The way that the front, the way that the hairline was constructed, it just had a little excess. So all I did was cut off whatever wasn't on the glue because all that meant was that it wasn't, what's the word? customized so I just customized it to my hairline
so I pulled the hair back and pulled this hair forward because I'm about to spray some got to be spray I pulled the hair forward because sometimes when you spray this this spray after applying glue my hair will start to slide back so I put that hair the hair that I pulled out just in case I need to pull it forward but I'm gonna apply the elastic band and here we are I'm using the same cotton swab I use that has alcohol on it and I just use that to clean up any got to be sprayed that I got on my forehead and now I'm about to do my baby hairs and show you guys how the wig came out and this is it I did not curl this hair yet in the next clips it will be curled but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks I'm really just a fucking fool.